I'll never forget the time I was at my friend's house on a link. Hey, y'all, come look at this. It was supposed to be a two-man, but I didn't get the man because um, I had a little bit of extra back, and, and he wasn't feeling it. <laughs> Nonetheless, I was salty as f just as him, because like when I came here, I really thought I would be able to buy him, but even my humor wasn't making the man budge. He wasn't f***ing with me. It's simple. He don't like you. So after a while, everybody's smoking this shit, and they, they getting the lunches. And I'm like, hey, man. Cause I hate hanging around skinny Y'all don't get hungry unless y'all smoking. Like, damn. So when they all get the munchies, I'm like, oh, so do y'all want to order a pizza or something? And do y'all know the man who, when he see me, had the same face as y'all did when y'all see Miss USA's prom dress? I had the audacity to look at me and say, nah, you should cook or something. I heard you know how to cook. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. I'm looking at him like, where the f you hear that from? But my question was shortly fucking answered because my friend gonna talk about something. Yeah, girl, get in my kitchen and make a sound. I'm like, I know you know how to cook. So what you saying? Oh, man. What so what you saying? saying? It really blew me because I'm just thinking to myself like, bitch, your mama EPT stamps ain't even hit this month. So I know it ain't shit in that fridge but a block of cheese and curry milk. But I let her walk away. Because honestly, this was my moment to really like wow them. Like I had to wow him. So I get in the kitchen and my first instinct is to make a bacon, egg and cheese, period. Bringing it back to my roots. I'm in the kitchen slaving from head to back, sweating fucking bullets. And when I walk up to this man and put this plate in front of his fucking face, he gonna look at the sandwich and discuss talking about some, bro, there's no way you just need me a bacon, egg and cheese, bro. I'm Muslim. I was like, well, how the fuck was I supposed to know that? You was in here lighting up more than 4th of July. <laughs> he talking about some, yeah, bitch, you blew it. I'm not doing no fat bitch. He did I sat on the opposite side of the couch for the rest of the link. He was not fucking with me. But the sandwich was good though. Everybody was fucking it up. Besides, say, bro, like, let's be real, fellas. Can y'all be real for one second? If you was on a two man link and Shorty was the girl that you was designated with, you wouldn't have smashed? Let's be real. Some alcohol involved. Maybe they didn't took some edibles or, you know, smoked a little something. And you know how the drugs and all of the alcohol make you think crazy and everything. Next thing you know, a four looks like a 10. Y'all, y'all not gonna go with your move on Shorty? She ready to go. She said she was on a link, but she didn't get her man. She went there to get her back blew out, man. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Oh, bro, I don't think most of y'all gonna turn it down, man. Niggas get on this internet and start capping, bro. All in the comments, man. I only mess with tens, nines, and eights, man. I want my real ones to get in the comments and let me know straight up. Nah, I will. I'm tearing my ass up. I want to see which one of y'all gonna keep it real, dog. I really want to know. But that's crazy, bro. It goes to show you that there are men out there that have high standards. Cause he said I'm not dealing with you straight up, and she offered to cook. Oh man, that is crazy to me. So a black-owned dental office had a sign post that said no house shoes no pajamas no bonnets right and social media was so up in arms that they tried to destroy this woman's business by leaving her bad reviews saying that the sign was anti-black i just want to know why everything negative and uncouth has to be labeled black culture i also want to know why advocating for us to go in public looking like we care about ourselves and how we look is deemed as respectability politics we should not be condoning and advocating for clear signs of depression because the only times I've ever been raggedy in public is when something was off with me mentally. Where is my check? Look, if it ain't in your mailbox, I don't know. No, no, I got fucking kids to feed. Rolling out of bed in the morning and going in public with a bonnet and pajamas on and house shoes is unacceptable. Uncouth behavior, no matter what race of people does it. And going out in public looking well put together like I care about myself doesn't mean that I'm trying to be like white people or I'm trying to get white people to respect me. Maybe it's because I respect me. Let's make having self-respect a part of black culture. Nah, this the one right here because why do y'all get mad at just being civilized? Like coming out the house looking appropriate. You should have that much respect for yourself. How are you upset with a business who don't want you bringing down the level of perceived value of their place? Like you can't just go in certain establishments looking crazy because that's going to run away customers, right? They probably want a mixed demographic, but you coming in there is only going to draw more hood rats like you. And hood rats don't know how to act in public and they don't 
don't want patronizing in their place looking like that, man. I understand that, man. You should have the right to refuse business to anyone that you don't want to do business with. I don't care about it. <laughs> Straight up. I don't know why you so hard up. A lot of women do this. I'm not going to lie. Y'all remember when Trick Daddy said something about Beyonce and all of the Beehive girls started running to his page and leaving his restaurant negative reviews? It's the same play. But the good thing about it is this. They quick to forget. They're mad today. Tomorrow they're going to forget all about it. Watch what I tell you. It happens every single time. Door open. Really <laughs> Door open. What's up? Did you really just go to my backpack and grab my shoes? Yeah, I did. What you gonna do? Okay. What you gonna do from the other side of the door? Oh. <laughs> Ooh, what? Ooh, what? <laughs> Don't never steal no food from no woman, boy. You better sleep with your eyes open, boy. Both eyes open, my guy. Don't even take that risk. It's not worth it. Um, I've been dating him since 2015. I met him when he was 21. 21? And we had our first kid like a year after 2016. And um, we had another kid in 2017. 17. Wait for it. And I just recently found out that this was my son that I gave up for adoption. What did you say? I just recently found out that this was my son that I gave up for adoption. Huh? Let me just grab my stuff off the bus. See, this when you was being young and hot in the ass, man. She gave the baby up for adoption. Let me stop speculating. I don't know what happened, but how in the hell do you have a kid with your own son? This man raising his own siblings. He is literally raising his own siblings, bro. But I want to see if the kids got any genetic defects, man. I want to see if any of them turn out to be Cyclops or something like that. Because you know that's what used to happen back in the day when, like, royalty and everything, they wanted to keep the bloodline pure. And then they started looking crazy like Louis the, Louis the something, like the 13, 14, one of the two because they were smashing family you know like alabama folks i'm playing i'm not trying to get on my alabama people i got family out there as a joke but you know how they say in the south cousins like the dudes <laughs> but dog this was a strange ass story bro a crazy turn of events see this when you was being young and hot in the ass man she gave the baby up for adoption let me stop speculating i don't know what happened but how in the hell do you have a kid with your own son this man raising his own siblings he is literally raising his own siblings bro but i want to see if the kids got any genetic defects man i want to see if any of them turn out to be cyclops or something like that because you know that's what used to happen back in the day when like royalty and everything they wanted to keep the bloodline pure and then they started looking crazy like louis the louis the something like the 13 14 one of the two because they were smashing family you know like alabama folks i'm playing i'm not trying to get on my alabama people i got family out there as a joke but you know how they say in the south cousins like the dudes <laughs> but dog this was a strange ass story bro a crazy turn of events all right fellas i hope y'all enjoyed this video like comment subscribe and enjoy the outro song you feel me how let your boy i can't take no more i can't take no more man i'm sick of these hoes i'm so sick of these hoes i can't take no more i can't be a hero i can't say these hoes real player like these rose this bitch crazy here we go blowing up my phone burned up all my clothes Phone. She swear to God, I'm doing wrong. I told the bitch, just leave me.